hello guys and welcome to my channel this is savage right guys and it's really been quite a, a long time now and it's good to have you all back once again as uh we are fully back again guys so on today's uh, tutorial we'll be talking about uh how to maximize your winning chances in sports betting how to maximize your winning chances in sports betting but guys, before we jump into today's tutorial, guys, I suggest you go ahead and uh, smash the subscribe button. If you are new to my channel, like and share this video. And if you have any question relating to any sport betting market, bookmarkers or options, all you got to do is just for you to leave a comment at the comment box below. And without no further ado, guys, let's jump right in on today's uh, tutorial, guys. So guys, like I said earlier of, on today's tutorial, we'll be talking about how to maximize your winning chances in sport betting. So guys, if you want to maximize your winning chances in sport betting, all you have to do is for you to bring up a strategy in placing straight single bets, guys. All you gotta do is just for you to bring up a strategy on how to place a single bet. And so guys, if you want to place single bets, here are my tips that you need to follow for you to be able to place a successful single bet as to maximize your chances of winning in sport bet guys one is that you first of all have to do your research and analysis guys before placing a bet do your research and analyze the team or players involved in the match by this you try to look at their recent form head to head records injury and uh, most especially the weather as well as the uh, availability of players in terms of first 11 and other relevant factors that could impact the outcome of any match that is it secondly you need to try your possible best to go through what we call a value betting system by value betting system you look for value in the odds offered by the bookmaker value betting means uh, placing bets on outcomes wherein the odds offered are higher than what you really expected or what you think the true probability of that outcome is many bookmakers always have their way of uh, reducing as well as increasing odd for example the games that was that was played between a uh, SSC Lazio and uh, Inter Milan, I think that's their Coppa Italian. That very match, it um, Inter Milan were given a one point seventy eight odds outcome. It get to the point whereby some bookmakers increased the odd to one point eight five outcome, and at this point, many are. Uh, uh, what will I call it? Many sports bettors will be wondering or thinking that the game might end on a draw or it might be a go-go or as well as a... Uh, as well as uh, what is it called? Um, Lazio holding them on a draw. But at the end of the outcome, it was Inter Milan who trashed Lazio on a 3-0 win. So... This strategy can help maximize your winning chances over a long time. The third thing you should put in mind is bankroll management. Practice good bankroll management. And by doing this, you try to set a budget for your bet and try sticking to it. Avoid chasing losses by betting more than you can afford and only place bet that you feel you are confident enough to back them the last but not the least is for you to try to specialize in a specific betting market by specializing in a specific betting market such as a particular league or sport it's going to help you to maximize your winning profit and as well help you develop a deeper understanding of the teams and players involved and by doing this, it will try to improve your analysis and decision making when placing a bet. For example, when you look at the likes of um, the form of uh, West Ham recently, we all know that 
West Ham has really been in good form for the past few weeks now. But the match which they played against the that was Bristol City. Yes. The cup they played against Bristol City. We see that uh, they didn't really they didn't really put up much of our um, attacking uh, pine as well as uh, they really didn't play well as they're supposed to and uh, Moyes was unable to you know put up an outcome in that game after first leg 1-1 one, one draw and second leg after their opponents called them at the three minutes of the opening game they went ahead to lose that game on a 1-0 on a 1-0 as well as eh, getting a red card at the end of the game so guys at this point I don't know who whom uh Sheff, um, what is it called um West Ham will be playing but I definitely know that uh, it is uh, Sheffield United so to make it all fun I don't care how fun West Ham is but all I know is that they cannot win Sheffield United at home that is a strategy when you are following a particular league when you are paying attention to some particular league these are your area of specialization so at this point i do not expect them to win and another team that have really been in their best results is asna so for this coupled with the fact that eh, most of crystal palace players are on a eh, um what is it called international uh campaign or outing i expect asna to trash crystal palace on a 3-0 win by this I am following a particular league or a particular team. So if you're able to understand the team and players involved, it's going to help to improve your analysis as well as decision making when placing bets. And finally, follow a betting system. Try to follow a betting system. Some bettors prefer to follow a specific betting system. By following a specific betting system, we mean that some of them tries to join a particular group in a betting uh, platform, Telegram, Twitter, Instagram, and so many of them. And if you are not following a person, for example, let's look at the likes of uh, Mayor of AKT, or uh, Mr. Banks, Juju Ponta, uh, Louis, and many of them, Richards. These are quite professional punters, guys. But when it comes to following a particular punter you just have to stick to it and there you're not going to play every single game he puts online all you gotta do is to choose a game out of his selection and simply bank on it if you are going to be picking one or two games from his selections guys we all know that they might predict a game 20 games and uh, win 15 out of 20 and if you are able to settle down analyze those games and uh, try to uh, um, research on them you can be able to pick out two games that could give you 1.70 1.50 two odds outcome and you can simply bank on them thereby helping you to make a good strat or to take a good strategic bet so guys in overall saying guys maximizing your winning chances when placing single bets or a bet requires a combination of research analysis value betting bank role management specialization and uh, following a betting system guys once you are able to stick to this you are good to go so for that guys here is our prediction for this weekend guys we have a uh, Arsenal against Crystal Palace and we are going with uh, Arsenal to win. This is what we are talking about, guys. At this point, you are looking at, uh, excuse me, you are looking at what we call value betting. Initially, Arsenal odd was 1.30 and now it is rising to 1.31, which means that something is involved. But as long as you are you know what you are expecting. You know your expectation. You are not changing your outcome. As not to win. And uh, Sheffield United against uh, West Ham. Sheffield United win or draw. We have Liverpool against Bournemouth. Liverpool a win, win or draw. We have Leipzig against uh, Bayer Leverkusen. Both teams to score. Real Madrid against UD Ameria. Real Madrid to win. 
And we have Betis against FC Barcelona. Barcelona to score one goal, which brings us to 5.53 odds outcome, guys. And that is it. And here is our booking code to this very game, guys. Here is our booking code to this very game. And our booking code is uh, D4C60192. So, guys, that is all for today's uh, tips and tricks to betting market, guys. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I suggest you go ahead and uh, smash the subscribe button, like and share this video. And if you have any question relating to any sports uh, bookmarkers or question or options, all you got to do is just for you to leave a comment at the comment box below as I look forward to seeing you on our next video. Thanks and uh, peace.